what up big herc 916 positivity motivation never settle for average you know we do it over here 50 years young and still looking good go pick you up some merch at bigherc916.com hat t-shirt or grab your bar of soap and wash your ass you know uh I have love for all my fans out there, all the viewers for humanity. And in particular, I feel for a lot of the young black men out there who don't have the proper role models in their life, father figures, young men in general who are struggling with their identity, who are trying to find purpose, who sometimes turn to the wrong peer groups or influencers for guidance. Um, you know, I, I've done all of it, man. I've lived that life. You know, I'm, I'm not on here glorifying any of the things I've did, but I can speak on them from firsthand. And a lot of the things I've seen at the time, I didn't really understand why I had to go through those things, but now that I'm here in retrospect, it was to be in a position I am now to share knowledge with you guys. Um, at one point I wanted to be a rapper, you know? Uh, I was uh, writing a lot of lyrics when I was in high school and I remember uh, friend of mine in Huntington Beach had a little home, little studio, and I recorded a couple tracks, you know, I was going to try to put out a little something, something, you know, thinking I get out of high school. I wrote a couple record labels. I think I wrote, like, um, whoever produced Luke Skywalker, and I wrote somebody else, maybe, maybe, um, I can't remember back then if it was Priority or somebody, but, you know, back then you had to make a little tape and then try to send it in, and, you know, you look on the address on the back of the the, the the tape case or record and try to find an address and you know back then that was how it was I didn't have any music connections really or ties but I remember my mom was like man you know you're not gonna be you know pushing that stuff you're not gonna be talking about that stuff and my mom was pretty she's pretty strict about that and I didn't realize that when you speak things out you speak them into existence you know there's the energy there's the vibration there's the frequency to these things and along with it comes a certain type of energy. So I say that to say that a lot of what you see now with these rappers out here getting caught up, things happening, they don't even realize they, they've spoken a lot of these things into existence. And a lot of these things outside of a material world are very spiritual. They're tuned in with certain vibrations. Um, California rapper Lil G sentenced to 21 years in prison. The former SOB XRBE musician had pleaded no contest to voluntary manslaughter. Lil G had been sentenced to 21 years in state prison after pleading no contest to voluntary manslaughter, East Bay Times reports. Lil G's legal representation confirmed the plea deal prevented potential sentence of 50 years to life and had been convicted of first degree murder Co-counsel Mark Quintes said in a statement, the former SOB XRBE rapper had been charged with fatally shooting 26-year-old man in 2019. It's it's always uh it's always like you know a murder, bro, or a shooting. I mean, and it's black on black. It's black on black, man. No matter how much we want to make it a racial thing, we've uh, far exceeded what the Klan has done. Blacks have you know, become the new clan. A lot of us, you know, not all you guys, but a lot of the blacks have taken the place of quote unquote, the racist clan and is doing their dirty work for them. Off of pure, just pure hate for no reason, you know? And we gotta stop that shit, man. We gotta check ourselves and hold some accountability with why we feel so much animosity and violence towards other people that look like us. 
and maybe it's the lack of father figures maybe it's, it's what's been ingrained in our our rna from previous uh generations and we have this inside of us and we don't understand why but we got to stop feeding into whatever their death culture that they're getting a the bag for we got to stop feeding into it uh, another rapper you guys are familiar with ynw melly um out of florida the judge just uh in the case that just made it easier for the jury to sentence the rapper to death if he's convicted of killing two former friends. On June 2nd, Broward Circuit Judge John Murphy sided with state prosecutors' motion to follow a new statute that allows juries to recommend death sentence with an 8-4 to four vote. Double XL confirmed with the Broward County District Attorney's Office on Monday. Previously, all 12 jurors had to come to a unanimous decision on whether the death penalty should be levied. YNW Melly's trial is expected to be to begin later this month. He will be one of the first people tried under the new rule, which was recently pushed through by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in wake of Parkland High School shooter Nicholas Cruz only getting a life sentence due to a split 9-3 jury. A death penalty recommendation with only 8-4 is the lowest threshold in the United States. Um, you know... I don't know if you guys remember that case, but I, I vaguely remember, but I know there were two friends in the back of the car and supposedly they said that somebody shot through the car, but after investigation, they said that turned around and, and basically, um, allegedly, you know, those people got smoked by him from the front of the car to the back of the car. And I don't know the situation. I don't, the hip hop culture on that side is pure trash there's nothing glorious about quick killing another black man and then taking accolades for it nothing there's nothing glorious about it man i mean you know people i remember growing up people would think oh man you're hard man you you you're a killer man you're hard but then at the end of the day, you know, I'm older now. And maybe, you know, you call me old, whatever, but uh, more mature. Would you be proud to say that you killed a bunch of black men for really something that was some bullshit for no reason at all, practically? Would you be proud of that? When you kill another brother and you say, I killed that ninja, uh, yeah. And you, you say you actually did that stuff from blah, blah, blah. I mean, you're, you know, is that something that you can say that you, you did and, you know, or you rap about and it makes you feel good? Does it make you feel good? You get these individuals who take our culture, exploit it, and then they have guys brag about it and make these youngsters think it's something glorious and young kids you see them with the ghost guns and stuff and all they're doing you know of course because they live around other blacks they're killing each other it's killing other blacks shooting other blacks but the end game is you're not even getting to live your life you're not seeing the fruits of your labor you're not even you know you're supposed to, you have a talent you could take that talent and take yourself out of that environment and, and and do something great with yourself man you guys are young warriors but we're not using that warrior spirit for anything great all i'm saying is wake up man i'm trying to share with you man wake up i i've seen those guys who were killers and their grandpa's in a pen now man and they're they're very sad it's very lonely everybody's passed away kids don't talk to them family members you know they're they're in the pen and 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 they they cry at night they cry at night man these killers 18, 19, they were in there, hitters putting in work, doing their thing, ah, and they get older, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, trying to hopefully get a get out. Grandpa, man, everybody's, everybody's passed away. Mom's passed away. Everybody's, that's it. Life has passed them. Don't be one of those grandpas in the pen, man. Don't be one of those dudes who was a young killer man who killed other brothers for sport. And now you a grandpa in the pen with a crazy amount of time and you're hoping one day you can still get out. 
and, and have you a free meal. Big Herc 916. Hello, my name is Big Kirk 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, Wash Your Ass Soap. And this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub, but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, Jamaican Me Crazy, um, Monkey Farts, and all these scents smell very good, they will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself. So if you can go to BigKirk916.com, you can pick you up a bar. And my goal is to help America combat funk. Stop walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at FreshOutSeries.com. Go to the Herc store at BigHerc916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass or pick you up some Never Settle for Average merch or some of the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle merch. We have hats, Never Settle for Average. Got the Muscle Up t-shirts. We also have the Never Settle for Average tank tops. Got the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle hoodies. Got the beanie caps. Hey, man, represent. And I know you guys aren't average, so pick you up some swag and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.